Well, technically, I've been making machinima since 2010, if you think about it. Like, seriously. I've thought about it, and I'm no closer to believing it, unless you have a channel that dates back to 2010. Oh, no, I, was, I never uploaded to YouTube. It was a WWE machinima. A WWE machinima. That's that's actually a really good jumping off point because I want to talk about our origins in machinima, what our earliest projects were. So if you want to just kind of start us off with that, really. Well, my first, <laughs> <laughs> my first project was a show called WWG. It was a uh, World Wrestling Gaze. <laughs> it was a. Uh... It was a wrestling promotion where the gayest person would become champion. And how would they determine who was the gayest person? Like, well, well, they would. Uh, well, if you've ever played SVR 2010, you would know that there's a story career in the game. So, for the folks at home, flick, explain that a little bit. Uh, you'd create a story with it. Was your story about homosexuals and? people coming out of the closet or what was it about well it was about you know you everyone was gay and there was this evil man called the big show which if you've if you've ever seen wwe you know who the big show is and he was kind of like the top evil guy because since he was seven foot tall he probably had the largest cock so that meant he was the gayest so for the folks at home flick Explain why being having the biggest dick makes you the gayest person, or having the biggest cock, I should say. Well, I made this when I was like twelve, so I can't. There was no logic behind anything in it. I see. I see. It's a definitely interesting content for a twelve-year-old to be making. And was that? And that was your first ever machinima? Was it back in two thousand and ten? Well, well, it I guess story mode, uh, SmackDown games were counted as machinima, but I do still technically have it on a hard drive. I think um, myself included, I speak for myself and our viewers, that if you were to make it public one day, I think we'd all be very interested in seeing it. Just to see... There, well, you know, it's, there's a lot of fags, there's a lot of faggot drops. Um, there may have been a rape scene. Um, you could always, you know, you could retrospectively censor it as well, I suppose, to be in line with TOS. Well, that's a good, that's a good point, actually. Well, sadly, I don't think I have the ending, though, because I think you could only save 10 stories onto your hard drive. So, and I don't seem to have um, the last episode, so I'm actually kind of sad about that. I guess it's like it's almost like uh, Deus Ex Machina or Oneself, where there's just no conclusion to it, really. Okay, I'm leaving.